Check, check. Check, check. What's going on guys in today's live stream we're gonna be talking about the 2019 uh, tent off where it's gonna be and some of the stuff that's gonna be around there and then uh, we're gonna end up with a little bit of Q&A so uh, let's get going What's going on, guys, and welcome to Window Tending Business, where we strive to inform, inspire, and improve you as a professional. As always, my name is Patrick, and if you're interested in window tending as a side job to improve your current skills or as a full-on career, start right now by subscribing to the channel. You can hit the little blue box in the corner. Don't forget to hit the bell notification so that you're notified whenever I go live or whenever I update new videos as well. We are doing our Tuesday night live stream. We do this to this uh, live stream every Tuesday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, 
And uh, yeah, I do apologize about last week. Uh, as some of you guys knew, my uh, if you guys don't know, my old lady uh, was uh, under the weather, so she was uh, in bed early, and I had to watch the kids. So I can't be doing that uh, if I'm in here live streaming. So I do apologize about last week, but we are back this week. And uh, topic of today, we're going to be talking about our 2019 tint off, where it's going to be, some information about it, um, and some really good stuff. It's it's something that you know that I always look forward to, and a lot of uh, a lot of people in the industry look forward to as well. <clears throat> And then, uh, as always, we're going to be going over some uh, Q&A at the end. Big shout-outs real quickly here. Looks like we got, uh, let's see, Tint Light by Nero Lighting in the house. Shoke Shield. Uh, Shoke Shield. Soak Shield in the house. What's going on? Juan P. Levi, how you doing? Roger Franco, what's going on? Mike Powell. Everyone say hi to Mike Powell. He's, uh, he's, uh, he's in blue. Why is he in blue? Why is he in blue? Oh, because he's a moderator. Durr. <laughs> yeah, looking fresh, uh, for <laughs> Roger. Yeah, I just I cut my hair. If you guys don't notice, I, I cut my hair. It looks I look a lot shinier now that I have the lighting on and stuff like that. It doesn't look that bad if you like talk to me in real life. But sorry about that. Uh, yep. Yeah, uh, so that that's that real quickly here. Ah, before we get started, let's go ahead and talk about some sponsors because without the sponsors, we wouldn't be able to do what we do. Um, so the first sponsor up here is Soak Shield. Uh, for those of you guys that don't know or have been living in Mars for the last year, Soak Shield is a microfiber braided rope. It's designed to stick between the, the, the glass and the deck, the, the, the dash of the car to absorb any excess moisture, particularly when you're installing front windshields um, to, to prevent uh, electrical damage. Um, if you guys don't know about Soak Shield by now, I don't know what y'all been doing. Um, but Soak Shield, if you have any or you would you like some more information about Soak Shield, check them out. SoakShield.com is where you can check out some more information about them. And also, um, if you're looking to get your hands on a Soak Shield, they have Soak Shields, all kinds of different options, lengths, thicknesses, and also kits as well. Um, just ask your manufacturer. Most manufacturers do stock them. And, uh, and if they don't, ask your manufacturers why. And maybe you have to go to a different manufacturer if they do not have it. Uh, next here on the old uh, on the old list here <clears throat> is Iron Duck Designs logo designs branding solutions and identity reboots. Iron Duck Designs specializes in aggressive, bright, attention nabbing, client impressing logo logo designs and identity reboots. We love to build a brand for our clients so that they can carry them into a successful future. That's uh that's Iron Duck Designs. You can guys can check them out online as well. Iron Duck Designs dot com with an s at the end of that um if you guys are not familiar with her work carrie that uh, the the does all the work uh she she's the one that designed the uh, the window tinting business logo um also she also designed the uh, certified tenor dot com logo as well phenomenal phenomenal artist um you can't go wrong with carrie so uh go ahead and check her out drop her some uh, drop her uh, a line if you're interested um in getting some logo work done she's phenomenal 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 um, here next up we also have is certifiedtenor.com certifiedtenor.com is your premier online training center as of right now we do look we have been talking as of right now it looks like our release date is going to be February the 5th that's where it's going to be um, and we are I we are talking about doing a soft launch where we're actually going to be opening up members. We're not going to, we're, I don't think we're going to charge anything for the first three months. We're going to give it an opportunity to be able to, to get people in there and kind of see how it is, how it's going to feel. And then we'll drop the, uh, we'll drop the old pay curtain probably um, three months after we, uh, after we launch. So that's coming soon. We're going to have, uh, we're going to have training libraries with all kinds of videos. Matt and I are going to be doing live live uh, video releases because we we're going to be releasing new videos every week Matt and I each so we're going to be doing one video each a week so two releases a week we're going to be there live answering questions um, and a bunch of other goodies as well so make sure to check it out certifiedtenor.com um, make sure to check them out and last but not least is you guys you guys uh, are really really big help and supporters of the channel um, through super chat super chap is act super chap super chat is activated so uh, you're able to go ahead if you guys don't know what super chat is you're able to go ahead and donate to the channel and all proceeds go to help support the channel as well um, <clears throat> I was able to I didn't uh, get together a PayPal 
basically a PayPal donations. You guys can check it out in the link in the chat. Um, I believe it's paypal.me backslash WTB donations. And that goes to obviously help support the channel. That one, it's a little bit, it's a little bit different because um, Super Chats, YouTube would take 30% of that, or whatever you guys um, donate. YouTube takes a cut of it, 30%. Um, with the PayPal donations link, it may not pop up in the chat, but you're gonna, um, but a lot more of the of the percentages go. I mean, a lot more of the payout goes to the channel and help support the channel. So what I'm doing with that is that I do have my my PayPal summary up here, and I'm just you know frequently I'm just hitting the hitting the refresh button and checking to see if there's any other donations that have been made. Um, if you do, uh, I'm not 100% sure if you can write something. I'll keep in track of it. See see like if anyone donates through the PayPal. Uh, link I'm gonna try to see if someone can like leave a message so that I can actually like hit like give you a shout out and then like kind of read a message as well so we're gonna be playing hell we're gonna be playing around with that so um, that is it let me go ahead and move back over into our main screen there we go um, let's see how the chats doing Mike Powell what's up what up what up yeah yeah, yeah. oh yeah Carrie's awesome Carrie's awful <laughs> uh bill rife says what happens to the johnny bravo hair bro i'm telling you i was getting real real sick of it not real sick of it. i guess i just get into these moods like like i got a lot of stuff going on and you know and you know time is is of the essence my friend so i you know my hair like it looks good for like a week and then like two or three weeks it's i i you know i gotta get up i gotta take a shower i gotta get it ready i gotta get get set style it the whole nine this way I just roll out of bed sometimes and just go. So that's why. <laughs> Plus I'm waking up at 6 a.m. trying to work out, get healthy, and going from there. All right, let's talk about uh, the 2019 International Window Film Conference and Tint Off. That's what we are going to be talking about today. Let me see here. Let me get some of my screens up here. So, uh, so it was just announced just this week that the tent off is going to be actually held in Indiana at the Indiana Convention Center here. And it's going to be from Wednesday, September the 4th to Friday, September the 6th. It's usually, I believe that's a Wednesday. Um, uh, I think it's a Wednesday through a Friday or a Tuesday through Friday. Chat, let me know. Check on that dates for me, please. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, um, it usually is a three-day event, um, and this is going to be pretty awesome. They've never held it here at the at the Indiana Convention Center. Been checking out the area. It is uh, a lot, and we're going to look at that together as well. But I believe it is Wednesday through Friday. For those of you guys who have never been to the Tent Off, um, it is a really, really great place to go. Um, it's a great place to, to network and in talk to people that have been in the industry you guys are you guys are clearly here online there is a big following online um, through Facebook and Facebook groups and different things of that nature so it's a really great opportunity to, to, to meet the people in person versus that you've been talking to or have helped you out um, so that's really one good thing also the the tint off itself if you're if you're a competitor if you like to compete there is a number of different competitions that they do have available um from they have the 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 flat glass tint competition so if you're a flat glass guy you can get into the competition there's a ppf competition they did a, i believe it's a customer service competition as well that was a brand new one that they added chris brooks won that one uh last year and uh and the infamous automotive tint off as well for those of you guys that don't know, for the automotive tint off, first place ten thousand dollars, second place a thousand dollars, third place five hundred bucks. So, um, so yeah, that's that's a pretty fun competition. Some people take it a little too seriously, but what can you do? What can you do, right? Um, for those of you guys that are going to the competition um, and like to compete in it, you know, a, a little food for a little food for thought is um, every tenor like thinks they're the best tenor in the world, and every tenor goes to the attention that like especially your first time you're like oh yeah i'm gonna win this thing i'm gonna crush it gonna crush. i remember my first year last year was my second year right the year before was my very first year of going to the competition and competing in it and i will tell you what it is a room of the best tenders in the world i can guarantee you that i thought i was gonna crush it and i've been there two years in a row and i haven't made it to the finals
Um, you know, and there's always something like the first year was I was like really, really nervous. Second year, I'll be honest with you, I was not prepared as I should have been. Uh, you know, I, I had um, I was working with a different tank and I was working with different slip solution. And I just I should have prepared a little bit better. But I know cats really good guys have been in the industry 30 years that, that, you know, that prepare for months at a time and they don't even make it into the finals. You know, there is a small portion of it that is luck. I do believe. Um, but, uh, but skill is, is important too. Skill is important too. But you know what you don't want to do is you don't want to go in there thinking like, Oh yeah, I got this. I got this in the bag. And then you don't even make the finals and then you're pissing and moaning and bitching about the event and how it sucks and how it's rigged and blah, blah, blah. Just you, you, you go to have a good time. You go to compete and thrill the competition and fun. And if you win, you win. And if you don't, guess what? You don't, but there's still good fun and good times to be had. My friend, I promise you. Uh, so yeah, it is September 4th to the 6th. There you go. Uh, I'm almost positive you can post comments on PayPal. Yes. Good. Let me, you know what? Let me see. See, this is what, I'm, this is the only problem is I, I, I have to, uh, I have to go back and forth and then like refresh and see if there's anything just so I don't miss anyone and then kind of go from there. So. I guess we'll see if anyone donates through PayPal through the PayPal link. Um, we'll check and see. I did notice that part of my shirt is like the chroma key is going through. <laughs> Whatever. Anyways. Okay. So I digress. Let's talk a little bit more. Wednesday, September the 4th, Friday, September the 6th. That is the dates, the di official dates for the conference. Um, now it is a little bit different if you're going to be a sponsor of the event because then if you have a booth or if you got stuff set up you're going to be setting up a little bit earlier than those dates uh i know last year for the competition if you were um competing you had to be at a mandatory well it's not they don't call it mandatory but it was basically a mandatory meeting and signups the day before if they do this year in 2019 what they did in 2018 that would mean all competitors would have to be signed in checked in and be at a meeting i think by 4 30 on september the 3rd so just keep keep some information out for that um they say it's not mandatory but if you miss the meeting it's 10 points deducted and if you got if you get 10 points deducted off your score you're pretty much out of the finals for sure absolutely absolutely so uh just some food for thought just to keep in mind indiana convention center um and the host hotel is going to be the in the uh indianapolis marriott downtown it's on uh 350 west maryland street uh, and it's right next to the convention center if i switch over here let's boom okay see so i got google maps right here so here's the convention center right here and then indianapolis marriott is right here i think that's it right let's see here What's the address? Yeah, 350 West Maryland. Okay, yeah, so that's it. That's going to be the host hotel. Um, and if you book through them, let them know you're part of the E. I don't know the exact code, but if you either say you're part of the Tent Off or the International Window Film Conference or the Tent Conference, something like that, I'm sure. And they'll have it on the website as well. Um, then you'll be able to go ahead and get uh, the group discount here. And make sure you do book early. We are seven months in advance, and I've been on the phone uh, with uh, with Mike and Robert <laughs> probably the last two days talking about uh, the tent off and things of that nature. So we're planning ahead. So make sure you plan ahead uh, because the, the host hotel typically does get booked. There is some good stuff here. Uh, the Westin is right next door. It looks like the Marriott. Another Marriott, I guess that's why they, they specify here. Another Marriott, Fairfield Inn Suites, uh, Hyatt Regency, Embassy Suites. There's a lot of good hotels, Hampton Inn. Um, I think I think I saw like a, like a Motel 6 or something. No, I don't, I'm just kidding. I don't know. But there's a, there's other hotels within the area too. But this is the Indianapolis Marriott Hotel is the host hotel. It's, uh, it's where a lot of the people that go to the competition stay um but yeah um some good plus things about it is uh looks like detroit columbus chicago cincinnati toledo grand rapids dayton louisville uh st louis milwaukee and nashville are all within four hours of indiana now it did say nashville but i was really curious um i don't think nashville is four hours away nashville Oh, maybe it's at Nashville, Indiana. 
Okay, it is Nashville, Indiana. It is not Nashville, Tennessee. I thought it was Nashville, Tennessee, and I was like, what are they talking about? They're out of their mind. Anyways, um, so yeah. So those are all within four hours of the place, so you don't have to fly in direct. I don't even know if you can fly in directly into Indianapolis. I don't. I haven't even checked the flights yet. But um, but you can travel to a number of different places and get a ride, ride share. Um, if you guys need rides, I know people that fly in from all over and then just – just share a ride to get into town. Um, you know, people rent cars and stuff like that. Be friendly and just talk to people. Talk, especially talk to people on the uh, the groups. Um, you can check them out. Uh, if you're not part of the group over at Facebook, Window Tending Business, check us out and be part of the group. I think we're 3,500, 34, 3,500 strong. We got a good good community there, really good community. Um, also, Purdue and Indiana University are only a few miles away, which I didn't realize. Uh, let me see here. Oh yeah, there you go. Back up, boom, look. I don't. I probably say less than a mile away. I don't know, but anyways, this. Uh, I mean, it's a good college town. I've never been to Indianapolis, but there are a number of good places. Look, look, we're gonna be in the Marriott downtown here. Um, but Steak and Shake, Yard House. Uh, there's a bunch of really, really good restaurants, by the way. Buffalo Wild Wings, Rock Bottom, some nice bars. Some uh, Yard House is one of my favorites. They got all kinds of different selections of beers. Um, Old Spaghetti Factory. Uh, there's just, uh, you know, uh, I think there's a, there is a Fogo de Gras. Let me see. Buca. I'd love to do like a group thing. If you guys are going to be going over to the, um, um, if you're going to be going over to the competition or the tent off for that weekend, I'd love to get like an, like an evening that, that we get a lot of people together and, you know, go out to like Buca or something like that and have a good time. Um, eat some food and, and have some laughs and whatnot. I don't know. Tell me what you guys think. Um, but yeah, let's see here. Who else we got in the chat? Tent stuff. I'm out. Of... <laughs> yes. All right. Tent stuff says it's out his way. He'll be out for sure this year. That's awesome. We were really hoping he'd be there last year, but eh, what can you do, right? Okay, Bill. Bill says, uh, Book your room at the Westin or the Marriott. Both are connected to the convention center via Skywalk. Um, I mean, this is really good because there is a lot of really, really, really good. So here's the here's the thing. You know, we we all go and we it's this is a, a time of year that everyone gets together. Uh, last year I had a blast. The year before I had a really good time. It was my first time. Last year I had a really, really great time. I met Mike Powell there. Um, you know, I hooked up with uh, with uh, Robert over at Soak Shield. He, all three of us were running around. Uh, you know, we were on the Lime scooters. Um, by the way, if you're on the Lime scooters this year, I don't know if they have it. Um, if anyone's ever been in Indianapolis, let me know if they have those electric scooters they can use your phone on. Uh, just, <gasps> yeah, I don't know, Mike. I don't know, Mike. Yeah, if if you guys, anyone's watching, whoever who's ever been down in that area let me know if they have the lime scooters down in that area because those were a blast i think i spent like 75 bucks over the weekend on it but there was like some one of the one of the competitors the automotive competitors he broke his jaw and and finished the competition with a, his jaw wired shut um uh, jody knight broke his collarbone like there was a there was a there was a bunch of crazy stuff don't don't do that but but yeah a lot of good uh a lot of goodies this year a lot of goodies yeah, San Antonio was fun. San Antonio. Uh, oh, there it is. Fogo de, uh, Fogo de Chao. Oh, my gosh. A really good Brazilian steakhouse. Really, really good. Um, what are some most of some good places? I saw. Where are they? I saw it earlier. I don't know. But then I, I did notice this. This one looks kind of cool. Hold on. Congressional Medal of Honor Memorial. This looks kind of cool, right? Uh, just some sightseeing stuff if you don't if you're not into just like partying all night long. There was another thing. Was it here? No. There was another thing I saw. There it is. No. Well, there's a mall right there. Mm. There was some sort of like memorial, like World War Two memorial. I thought I saw. Was it here? I don't know. Maybe that's campus. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, let me think. Let me think. Let me think. Archery trade show. Don't mess with Bill Rife. <laughs> he was at the archery, ar ar archery trade show. Nice. Nice. 
I wouldn't want to piss off people at the archery trade show. Mm-mm. Same thing with tenders. You don't want to piss off tenders. Everyone knows how to use a knife. It's crazy. <laughs> okay, y'all. Let me stay here. Let me stay here. Mm. That's pretty much all I had. Yeah. That's pretty much all the information I have so far. That's pretty much all the information everyone has. Um, so, this is uh, moving along nicely. Oh, look, 955. Uh, let's crank into... Let me see how many people we got going on here. Not a million people in the world, but it's all right. That's all right. I'm good. I'm good with it. Let me switch back over to here. No intro. Think if there's anything else. All right, let's move into the Q&A section here. We're going to go ahead and uh, move on this way. Bam. Now, if you guys have any questions, concerns, shout-outs, criticisms, whether about the uh, 2019 uh, Tint-Off or if you guys just want to chat a little bit, it looks like um, I don't know if I, if I threw people off with, the, with not being here last week and then also um, with the Christmas and New Year's live streams being a little bit different. Uh, we don't have a lot of people in here, but it's okay. I got the cream of the crop. Got Mike and I got Bill. I got my Matt, Jeff. What's up? Oh, it might help if I like have my chat up, huh? Where is everyone tonight? My Lana. Wait. Tent Light says, uh, says yes, scooters are there, but but very strict with fines of $25. What do you mean very strict? What does that mean? Like you just can't leave them anywhere you want? You can't take them around? Why, why would you get a fine? Let's, let's clarify this. I don't remember seeing them last year. Though. Oh, let's see here. Hold on. Let's take a look. Do they have Lime scooters? near the Indiana Convention Center. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it says about 500 scooters are in the area, so that's good. Ah, uh, okay. So they have no sidewalks. They have rules. Yeah, last year we were sidewalks, the river walk, anywhere we could. We were picking them up and taking them places. We were parking them inside places. Uh, we're going to have the downtown business uh, share. Life schools are back in action. In Indianapolis. Let's see if we can find um, any rules. Anything we should know about? Yeah, you just ride them in the road then. Because they have lights. They have lights in the front. They, I don't think they have brake lights, but they have reflectors and stuff. I guess they don't want you well, they don't want you uh, uh, ripping apart uh, you know, people on the sidewalk, <laughs> people walking. Uh, Honda Accord 08, back window. Is it is it hard to shrink? Let's take a look. I don't think so. That one doesn't like pop up. Honda Accord 2008. Let's take a look. Mm-hmm. No. No, not hard at all. Two door, four door? It doesn't matter. Let's see if we can check out the back window. Back window. Two cord? No. You know what I didn't notice that these have like fins on the back windows? But it looks like those are the coops. No, here's a four door. Now this is a pretty straightforward window. If it does happen to have like a fin like that, which I don't really ever see, but if it does happen to have that, then uh, what I would do is I would uh, I would pull it down 
just a little bit so that like obviously the top of the film doesn't hit that when you're shrinking it um, and see if there's enough room if there's not enough room just keep in mind where the halfway point of that film is pull it down a little bit tack it shrink the top and then pull it up and then tack it back in the middle that's why i said remember where the middle is tack it and then shrink the bottom half should be good to go should be good to go good question though good question Jeff Parker, Mod HD. Hello, hello. Welcome to the welcome to the live stream, my friend. We could probably switch back to the chat. <laughs> Bam. It's the whole door. <clears throat> Yeah, these back quarters are kind of a pain in the ass. I know, right? I got you, Mike. Ba 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 ba. Where is everyone? Is everyone sleeping? Where is everybody? Florida in the middle of May. I need to know this. March, April, May. Oh, it's gonna be perfect weather. Do you perfect weather for wakeboarding? When are you coming? Let me know. 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 <laughs> uh, I'm getting distracted by the boys. I have the worst friends sometimes. <laughs> Funny, but the worst. <laughs> Orlando. Orlando isn't bad. Orlando is um, right across the way, about an hour and a half away from me. You know, I, you know Matt, Mike is going to be really pissed if I meet you in Orlando because he was in Orlando. But he was in Orlando in December. Listen, that December, the end of the year, you're giving me at least a few months head start. <laughs> see i told you you'd say something it was mike i i didn't have i didn't have it scheduled financially scheduled uh, uh matt now when i come see you in orlando you can't say anything to anyone because mike will bust my balls <laughs> Uh, let's see. I saw your I saw your advertisement. It was pretty cool. I was fascinated by the stuff on how they do stuff. I used to watch how it's done. My dad wants to get his windows tinted also. Nice. Yeah, it's a good uh it's a good uh, industry to be into. It's not a DIY thing. So if you're here for trying to fight figure out how to do it yourself, but you're not looking to make a career out of it, save yourself the time and the aggravation and the money and just go ahead and pay for a professional, my friend. But we have to post videos. Yeah, I know. I know. That's why I'm going to need I'm going to need at least like two or three videos like it like stored away so that when I go away on vacation, I can still upload. Uh, 
Uh, Washington says, uh, so when tending a car with rain guards, do I remove them? Uh, you know, you don't have to. Some of them are, are connected just like just shoved in the in the um, in the window and not really held by anything. And others are held with, with uh, two way tape. You can tint with them on. Um, that makes it a little bit tighter. Um, you can take them off and even you can even take off the two way take and just re and just put it back on with uh, double sided 3M tape. Is it easier with them off? Absolutely. But can you tint the vehicle or the windows with rain guards on? Yeah, it's just the, 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 the back windows aren't too bad. But if the front window has the the rain guard that goes all the way across the top and then down the front end, that's kind of a little bit of a pain in the butt. I usually do remove those. Um, because it's hard to gauge the width uh, when you're hand cutting. Um, so those ones I would remove. But yeah, that's my two cents on that one. Jeff says, hey, anything I should know about tinting a 2019 Volvo XC40 front side windows? The owner is very picky. Yeah, don't tint for that guy. <laughs> uh, when people are really, really picky, I, I, I try to explain, especially if someone says something like, make sure it's perfect or um, or you know, something to that effect. I stop people most instantly and I explain to them realistic expectations. I, I tell them that, that no, we're not mass producing manufacturing radios. This is a handcrafted art. Um, and even if I was in a sterile environment, your car is not clean. So um, I always tell people I give them 97%. It's going to be 3%. You're not going to get a perfect job, unfortunately. And if you're looking for a perfect job, we better not do business now, my friend. Um, but let me check out 2019 Volvo XC40. Let's look. Let's take a gander. Oh, SUV? Nah, crush it. Be easy. Easy, my friend. Let's see. For those guys that are in here, this is what it looks like right there. Yeah, super easy. I don't even shrink side windows on uh, on SUVs. I can't, I can't remember a single SUV I had to shrink the side windows on. No, I don't think I've ever done one. I'll be honest with you. I don't see a lot of Volvos. Um, but Volvo, I think the C90, the SUV, uh, front windshield, bro, totally got me. Totally got me. I think it was one of the, one of the cars that like I threw in the towel on. Not very fun, but it does happen from time to time. I don't, I don't usually pull the bottoms on, on Volvos. Not that I remember. Um, so I can't tell you if the sweeps come out on that, but it, it looks pretty straightforward. You should be fine. Oh, it looks like Jeff and Jeff got a bromance going on. <laughs> My name is Jeff, too. <laughs> Jeff times three. Jeff, the three Jeffs in the chat. I'm going to have to really pick it up, boys, if this is the, the, the highlight of our chat. <laughs> um. <clears throat> Washington asks, uh, also, if the car has stickers on the back window and you heat shrinking, does the stickers mark the film? Kind of, yes, but but not really. It doesn't really affect it. Uh, I don't, you know, it doesn't really. No, the answer is no. It's kind of a little bit of a pain in the butt because it doesn't want to stick to the sticker, ironically. Uh, but um, but you shouldn't have any problems. You can see because you'll see like a little indentation when you're shrinking it. But when you install it, yeah, you won't have a problem. You won't have a problem at all. Uh, yeah, that Volvo. Yeah, you're right. That side mirror is like right on the door. It's not. Let me see. Let's look it up here. That side mirror is like right here. It's not in the front where you can kind of, um, you can kind of, uh, move it and break it out of the way. So that might be a little bit of a hassle. Uh, Jeff says, I know you, and that's a very odd question, but I usually like to ask, do you like video games? Yes, I love video games. I imagine you're into car games, but what, what console do you play or is it on, uh, PC? Um, 
Card games? Yeah, I play card games. It's not too bad. Um, right now, I'm really into Fortnite, as pretty much everyone is. Uh, I am a PS4 player for sure, hands down. I don't like Xbox. And I tried PC. I do play Fortnite on PC, but I use a... Um, actually, I have it right here. But I, have a, I use a PS4 controller. So I just have it hooked up to my PS. So it's like I'm playing on a PS4, but I'm actually on my computer. Um, I tried playing on uh, on keyboard and mouse, and it's it's really weird, and it's like it feels like starting over, and I just don't want to do it. So that answers that. Nice question. I like the I like the personal questions. Uh, Isis uh, Vasquez, how much money can you make in a week just window tinting? Um, are you asking me if you're working at a shop? How much can you make? Or are you asking me if you own your own business, how much can you make? Those are two very different questions. Um, if you work for a shop, easily you can make a grand a week. And you don't even have to be that good, to be honest. Um, most shops, $1,000 a week, 52, 50 to 52 a year is a pretty standard amount. I know guys that make eighty, ninety thousand $90,000 a year. Um, you know, I know guys that make 1400 a week. So, um, so the money's good. Um, if you're doing full, let me see here. Let's take a gander here. Let's do some quick math, some easy math. Where's my calculator? Transition. Let's say, let's say you're an okay tenor and it takes you, let's say it takes you two and a half hours to do a car, which is not an okay tenor, which is probably like a so-so tenor. But I'll, in my opinion, I don't know. Let's say it takes you two and a half hours to do a car, right? And you're running it at $150 a car. Uh, and you're doing two and a half hours. So you can do about three cars a day. 150 times three is 450. Let's say you work six days a week times six. Boom, 2700 bucks. Assuming that you have 30% in overhead costs. Let's say gas, tools, film. And let's say, assume you're mobile. 20% is very uh, gracious on that one. Say seven percent, boom, eighteen ninety. That's your take home. Let's assume that you uh, you pay thirty percent in taxes. Point seven again. You can take home thirteen hundred bucks a week. Pretty simple. Not too shabby, Abby. Mm -hmm. As a contractor, should you get a business license if I only work for one shop? Um, as a sub, the dude, I love your name, the dude. Um, I'm not a business consultant. I'm not a, I'm not a legal consultant. So I cannot like, don't, t this is not like legal advice. Okay. So just fair, fair warning straight up. Um, but if you have one, no, no, unless like you need like a business license, the certain cities require business licenses. And I don't want, I don't want you to to break the law in any way so if you're if you have to have a business license in a particular area to run a business or to do work in a particular city then i would suggest to do so just so you have your 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 eyes crossed and your t's covered you know what i'm saying and i know i got that mixed up i was just playing around but um but yeah i would say do it if, if, if you're making money, you know, that's that's a uh, that's a the cost of doing business. So factor that into, you know, what you're charging and whatnot. Make sure you cover it. If you can't cover it, you probably shouldn't be working at the shop. Twelve K in a day. Then uh, Jeff, you know they're not easy to utilize, but once you get the hang of it, you're much quicker. It's so much easier to move a mouse and hit something that you want than trying to hit, a, you know, hit a thumbstick. That's why that's why uh, PS4 has uh, aim assist on Fortnite. <laughs> if you're on a controller, sorry. PS blackout on. PlayStation what? Blackout on PC, <laughs> right? I know, I know, but there's a difference between, uh, God, Bill, you do everything. Archery, tinting, gaming, bro. We could be best friends. <laughs> Thing is that, whoa. Camera went out to 
you see that? I like it went fuzzy. Um, yeah, but a PS4 is three hundred dollars, and a, you know, a, you know, a gaming PC could be twenty five hundred dollars. You know, I don't take gaming that seriously. Mm-hmm. Uh oh. Oh, y'all talking sports now. That's Robert and Mike's alley right there. <laughs> I ain't going to boot you out of chat. I'm just, see, I you know what? The guys talk about sports. I'm not into the sports that they're into. Um, I'm into baseball from time to time, um, but I'm so busy with, with the shop and in and, and other aspects, this channel, the website, my kind of my social life, which is pretty much... Uh, uh, is Mike and Robert. Um, and besides all that, I don't have a lot of time. And I like to game. I, I'd rather play Fortnite for an hour than watch a, watch a sports for an hour. Plus, I grew up in L.A. They didn't have a football team. Um, the Raiders were before my time. The Rams were before my or after my time. And um, so I watch baseball. That's pretty much it. I'm not into football. I'm not into basketball. Um, it's not like there's nothing wrong with it. I just It just ain't me. Uh <laughs> It's, yeah, see, Robert uh, Sokshield and Mike Powell both know that. It's not that I don't like sports. This is that I don't watch sports, so I don't like talking about things I don't really know about because um, I don't want to sound like an idiot. So I don't, I don't leave the chat. We're in a group chat, so when they start talking about sports, I just, I just don't say anything because <laughs> I don't know anything. Anyways, see, what are friends for if they weren't busting your balls? <laughs> Where is everyone tonight? <laughs> uh, Ten seventeen. All right, guys. I am not going to leave it too too long. Ten thirty is coming. Um, we might actually leave on time. To be honest here, checking PayPal, making sure I don't miss anybody. Nope. It looks like we're good. Wakeboarding is a sport. I'll be honest with you, I uh, I'm about to get uh, I'm about to drop about nine hundred bucks on wakeboarding gear, and I've wakeboarded twice, <laughs> but I absolutely love it. I'm obsessed with it. Plus, I live in a state where like like the I I I ride on cable, so I don't own a boat, but there's uh, two cable parks near me, and it's awesome because they're only closed for the winter time, which means I can I can wakeboard spring, fall. I mean spring, summer, and fall. And it's Florida, so it's always warm, so it doesn't matter. <sighs> Washington, what I do for a living before tinting? Um, a bunch of odd little ball things. I I, uh, I uh, started my own landscaping company for a year, and that failed. Um, and then I used to work at a call center, which was god awful. I, I sp used to spend hours on the phone. Like I'm not like, believe it or not, like if I'm not into like I'm into window tinting, so I like helping people. But like banking, I really wasn't into it. So like it was like, no, I'm done. <laughs> like it was the worst. Um, I wanted to blow my brains out. It was pretty bad. Pretty bad. Funny story is because uh, people record. Uh, I'll say a quick funny story is that people record uh, us when you're like on on, you know, on on the phones. They record you for they record you for quality assurance and blah blah blah. So um, so I worked in with uh, with credit cards and so someone calls in. They're irate and they're like, I can't believe I got this late charge. Uh, well, sir, you were late. Uh, well, no, that's absolutely that's garbage. I wasn't late. I was on time on me. I'm like, well, according to us, you weren't on time. Therefore, by definition, you were late. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> and uh, he goes, that's that's it. That's it. If you can't, if you cannot remove this late fee, then I'm going to close my account. And I'm like, sir, are you telling me that if I cannot remove this late fee, that you want to shut your account down? Is that correct? Is that exactly what you're saying to me? Absolutely, absolutely. All right, sir. Well, we get we went ahead and got that taken care of for you. Great, you took away the fee? No, no, I shut down your account. Uh, no, you didn't want. I didn't want to do that. I didn't want to do. Well, no, no, you clearly. I asked you. You clearly stated that. Uh, well, I want to reopen it. I'm gonna have to get you over to applications for that. Unfortunately, uh, we only work with open accounts here. Sorry about that. Click. <laughs> so when I did that, my boss definitely found out about it, but they couldn't do anything about it because I asked. 
twice. <laughs> and they're like, well, technically, you didn't do anything wrong, but don't do it again. I'm like, okay, fine. Fine. <laughs> That's my quick story. Ah, <sighs> oh, Jeff just liked the stream. Appreciate it, brother. Appreciate it. Usually, Jeff, if this is your first time watching the stream, it's usually like we got a lot more people usually in here. We usually got about at least 25, 30 people in the stream. It's little, oh, it's 22. It's not too, too bad. Not too, too bad. She's usually more lively in the chat, but it's, it's not too bad at all. Thank you very much for li liking the stream. Ah, uh, plotters, let's talk about cost. Which one would you get and what program would you use? Okay. So, plotters. Um, plotters are going to run you about five grand, um, graph text and other non Roland, I guess you could say, uh, you could get a plotter for maybe four grand or three grand. Most places will have a lease program. That's kind of your best way to go because getting a plotter, in my opinion, does help speed up productivity. If you can do more cars in the day, you make more money. Therefore you can pay off that plotter quicker. So that is uh, that's the way to go. That's the way I would go. I would go with a Roland just because I'm used to a Roland. I have worked with graph techs. I, I've, 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 I've heard good things about Jaguars and there's other great ones on, on there. It's just that I know how to work a plotter. I will know how to work a Roland. Um, there is another new Roland that's come out. Oh my God. I'd love, you know what I'd really love? I'd really love, I want to do a series cause I don't know all the plotters, but I'm going to, uh, definitely do a series on the Rolands, specifically the GX 400, um, uh, because that's a plotter that a lot of people use, but I'm going to be explaining how to, uh, replace the, the Teflon strip, how to replace the blade, how to adjust the depth, a number of different things that, that like, there's just not a lot of information about that's super useful. Um, and if anyone from Roland is listening, I'd love for a sponsorship. Um, all I need for you to do is send me your newest plotter and that's all I need. And I'll make videos for you, please. And thank you. Someone that knows Roland, make it happen, please. And thank you. Computer cut. Yeah, computer cut's good. Um, if I wasn't with Lumar, using Lumar, and L Lumar uses precision cut. Um, I believe it's precision cut. It should be. Off the top of my head, I can't remember. Um, but if I wasn't using them, who I would use, I would use film and vinyl designs because I've used them before and their the patterns were, were good enough. Good enough. Um, stay away from Tintech 2020. I hear garbage about that. Garbage. Oh. Well, I appreciate you coming around here, Jeff. We're a bunch of positive people, guy. Positive people. Uh, where do you get your plotter blades and blade holders? Uh, you either call the manufacturer, they'll, they'll still have it. Um, your film manufacturer should have them in stock because they want you to you know, have the tools that you need. If they don't have it, you'll probably have to call your manufacturer and get a supplier from there. Um, but I don't order the, the I don't, I work for someone. So I just tell the boss when I need stuff and the boss orders it and, and gets it. Yeah, Matt has a good point. Every plotter, uh, every plotter software has pattern issues. Uh, uh, let's see, TrueCut by SunTech has pretty good patterns on average. I'd believe him. <clears throat> uh, Matt knows what he's talking about. Yeah, check it out. Uh, Matt says he had a bad experience with film and vinyl and Tintec 2020 is hit or miss. Copy that. Copy that. It's good to know. See, this is why I love about it because I had no problems with film and vinyl design. And I liked it the way that they're like they they upload, but then like it's all on a fob. So if the Internet goes out, you can still keep tinting like other stuff like you could pretty much smoked. I'm pretty sure. But I like being able to talk to different tenders and get their get their opinions so that you can get like a a more rounded um, opinion. <coughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. Hmm. 
what is a plotter? Jeff, a plotter is um, is is a, is a machine that that cuts patterns for cars. So the 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 plotter is the the machine that cuts it, and then the you know, Tintec Twenty Twenty film and bundle design, True Cut, uh, Precision Cut. Uh, all those are softwares that hold the patterns of the different cars, years, make models, different things of that nature. Um, it's a way to speed up production. Isaac Valquez, hey bro, what's up, Tent Stuff? Uh, yeah, this is my live stream. Focus on me, Valquez. All right. Just kidding. <laughs> Uh, if you guys don't know Tent Stuff, Matt over at Tent Stuff, my buddy Matt from Tent Stuff, go ahead and check him out. I should put a link in the description below. Let me see what I got here for you. Uh, we're going to be shouting out to all 19 people. Sorry, Matt. I wish there were more. I wish there were more. I don't think I've ever... Matt, you don't have a custom URL for your YouTube channel? We need to talk about that, my friend. There's a link in the chat. Make sure uh, make sure to check out uh, Matt over at Tent Stuff. 34,000 people. Let me see here. 34,452 rolling up to 35K. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. Um, yeah, good. Check him out. Ray. How's the best way to stir up PPF business? Bro, bro. Let's talk about that. It's the same way. Um, it's the same way you talk about uh, how you get film. How you get people. How do you get people in with for window tinting? How do you get people in? For flat glass, you know, you, you have to advertise in different areas and different places and, and figure out which one is most effective. Make sure you focus on that. You can always go to car shows, talk to talk to other places that are within the automotive aftermarket industry, like places that only install radios, um, get relationships set up with them, get business cards from them. You give them your business cards. That way, if people have questions, concerns about like other things they can do to their car, but maybe that shop doesn't do it, they can refer you to you. Um, also, um, get into upselling when you're doing window tint, get into upselling edge guards and door cups is an easy way to make, um, 80 bucks a set is what I was, is what I charge for four door cups, 80 bucks for four, uh, for four edge guards and, um, 140 if you want to do the door cups and the edge guards, um, a really easy sell and it's a really quick and easy installation. And then that'll kind of get them going. <clears throat> You want to focus on how to get in front of people that have brand new cars, um, at least brand new cars to one to at least one year old brand new cars. You don't want to go with people that have older cars because it's a complex thing. But like, you know, if there's already existing damage, um, it's kind of a it's kind of pointless to put PPF, in my opinion, on there. Um, but you also have to be aware that PPF, you know, a partial kit, partial fenders, partial uh, partial hood bumper and mirrors you're going to be running 650 to 850 um you know if you're going to do a full bumper full fenders full hood um mirrors you're going to be uh, most people are charging probably i'd say 1500 dollars, 1300 dollars. so when someone's paying out that kind of money they're very particular they want their shit straight you know what i'm saying so um so you have to be really good at it really good at it so fair warning heads up Scud 007, great video on the Amazon film, Matt. Yep, yep. Scud. Scud's a good guy. Um, how long have you been tinting professionally for Washington? The question of the hour. I've been tinting officially for three years last October. I know it's crazy. Some people are like, what the hell? Because <laughs> uh, there's been a lot, there's definitely a lot more people that are tending longer than me, but I crush it. Just to let you know. I eat, live, breathe, sleep, window tint. I am a tint nerd, okay? I tint professionally. I tint on the side on my free time. I work on tint products on my on my spare, spare time. I have tint friends. I we are My tint friends talk about tint. Um, <laughs> like my life is tint. So, uh, so yeah. Yeah. <laughs>
Jeff, thank you for joining us, man. Have a good one, brother. We'll be back next week, uh, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Join us, my friend. All right, guys, I'm going to give you about five more minutes. Five more minutes. Go ahead and uh, last questions, concerns, shout-outs, criticisms, and then we're going to go ahead and close it out. It is 10.30. It's a little dead in the live stream tonight. Maybe the topic was just a little boring. I don't know. It wasn't boring to me. I was really excited about this topic, actually. Um, so, sorry if it was not your cup of tea. Do apologize. Ten thirty five, we're gonna shut it down. Hurry up. If you're in here, you got questions, why we call it Q and A. We're definite nerds, but I'll take it. Absolutely. I don't give a damn. Pfft. Call me a nerd. Who gives a shit? First of all, do you see that right there? I'll beat the hell out of most people. I don't give a damn. Plus I know how to work a knife. I'm good. I'm good. Plus I know how to work a gun tactically. Let's do it. Let's do it. Fuck with me. <laughs> But on top of that, what did someone say? What do I say? Not me. I didn't say it, but I love the phrase. Uh, blue collar work, white collar money. All day, baby. Are you going to compete? I think so. I like competing. I like competing. <clears throat> I'm just excited about the tent, tent off. Yeah, we're going to be, it's going to be a blast. It's going to be a blast. It's going to be a blast. Uh, I like to, I like competing. Um, I have to get all the I have to get all the information um, together. I gotta I, you know get my my goal is to get sponsorships like I did last year. Um, you know there's there's overhead costs, hotels, flights, different things like that. So hopefully hopefully if I get sponsorships, it's uh wait I meant cross my fingers not not this one. <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, and Matt's going to be there. That'll be fun. It'll be good times. There is a lot of good bars, a lot of good nightclubs, a lot of good a lot of good things to get in trouble with. A lot of good things. I I'm excited about Yard House. Um, yeah. San Antonio was fun. I don't, don't get me wrong. Uh, I don't think the tint off, beca with the exception of you doing the tint off, like f you got to be in there, uh, Matt. It won't take away a lot from you because you have to go the day before and register. Then you'll get your 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 heat. There's usually four heats, and you'll know which heat you're in. Um, if you're like some people last year, they got heat four, so what? The, and so they weren't going to be competing until the evening of Friday. So what they did is they didn't even show up Thursday. Went to a rental place and practiced on the car because they knew what car it was and practiced for hours uh, so they could prepare for Friday. But um, but no, it just you have to compete, um, and then once you compete, you cannot step back on the floor, uh, the the conference floor until the judges are done judging and it usually takes a couple hours so what i usually do is that i'll drop my tools right there last year i dropped my tools mike kept an eye on them for me and i went i dipped out and i went and got lunch i i went and had a couple beers ate a pizza by the time i was done i came back we're good to go considering there's a lot of good places to eat really really close by that's probably exactly what i'm going to do this year Oh, Anthony Owens. That's a really good one. Video idea on how to video uh, PPF door edges and door handles. Um, yeah, that's a good one. You know, I've been I've been wanting to do more videos. I've well, let me let me back up a little bit. I've been wanting to do videos, but I've been wanting to do more videos outside of window tinting, but still within the automotive aftermarket industry. Um, that it really interests me. I like to I like to branch out. I wanted to like lay down a foundation first and really crush one particular area. And I think uh, I think I'm on track to do that with with window tinting. And I just want I'd like to I'd love to expand to like wraps, uh, maybe some some wire some radio some wiring stuff, um, PPF. Uh, clear coat stuff I mean all kinds of different things if, if it's related to cars that's uh, you know I'd love to expand more into that area 
Washington, do I remember the first tent job ever? My first paid gig? My first paid gig, I was so nervous I gave it to them for free because <laughs> I didn't want them to complain. I'm like, well, I mean, if it's a shitty job, they can't complain if it's free, right? So so that was, the first one was free. Uh, my very first time I ever tinted was on a uh, 2012 uh, Kia Rio. It took me six and a half hours. <clears throat> it didn't turn out great, but I just took my time and did the best that I could. That's pretty much it. It's all you can ask for, my friend. All you can ask for. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. 1035 y'all 1035 last last couple ones and I'm gonna shut her down <sighs> alright guys uh, that's, uh, we're gonna go ahead and close it out for this evening that's gonna wrap it up for this live stream thanks again to all our sponsors Soak Shield, SoakShield.com go ahead and check them out um, and Iron Duck Designs over at IronDuckDesigns.com as well as CertifiedTenor.com and everyone from uh, Super Chat and PayPal donations. Thank you all very much. Um, if you're not part of the channel, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell notification whenever you want to know whenever I go live or whenever I go and upload new videos. Uh, next week's preview, I don't know yet. I'm going to figure that out probably in the next day or so. And then I'm going to go ahead and post it. So keep an eye on it. I usually post it on uh, the Facebook group, Window Tending Business. If you're not part of it, make sure to be a part of it. Or I post it up on here. So that's why you got to hit the bell notification so that you get notified. Um, I usually uh, link it in the uh, in the community tab or it'll notify you on uh, on the old face, on the old YouTube. So uh, without further ado, I think that's going to end it for this evening. Thank you again. Thank you to everyone for joining us. And we will see you again next week. Tuesday, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time um, for this evening. That's it. I'm going to go watch some Flash and maybe play a little Fortnite afterwards. And I don't know. I don't know. But thanks again. We'll talk to you all soon.